Most of our students may have already had been eating all at some point, but some of you have been telling us that's something you're not at all wary of doing, thanks to a problem that we first reported Gloria, on six Gloria. years ago. Gloria! Gloria! They believed their bills would go down. Instead, Gloria. they rocketed. I'm not paying any more of them bills, not a problem. Here we are. No, no way I'm paying that again. They're not listening to us. And they're going to make more people into financial hardship. We have a fact. seen the last of Wait, complaints like this. But then Caitlin Boxall got in touch to tell us about the problems that she was experiencing in the home that she shares with her mum, Marissa. Ah, oh, it's me. It's me. After experiencing issues with antisocial behaviour on their old estate, Caitlin, what do you want to do with this way? Marissa and Caitlin were thrilled to move into this new, affordable housing flat in Welling on the outskirts of London in September 2017. When I walked in, I thought it was really nice. It was just ideal, really. It felt really homely. It was a lovely area. Oh, no. Neighbours were lovely. And oh, we were just really excited about starting our life in our new home again. But neither had any plans to move into the new flat with their mother and system installed in their home, made by Swedish company Nibi, would, for them, prove costlier than they'd expected. I'm a single mum, Katie's a student, so we don't really have um, an extravagant lifestyle. Yeah, we don't spend a lot, we don't really go out a lot, um, so our life has always been fine with finance really, up until now. Having paid around £80 a month for gas and electricity in their previous years, <laughs> there was no Katie's reason cleaning. to think they'd be paying much more in their new home. The way the housing manager spoke to us, it was quite simple, that like we had nothing to worry about, everything here was fine. All I knew was that it's electric only. I hate it, I hate it. Um, and so I felt, well, if it's electric only, it would be cheaper because then I haven't got the gas bill. That's how I understood it, but never got a booklet. Yeah. Uh, nothing at all was uh, told us about uh, the system at all. Marissa says their energy supply suggested a £60 direct debit should be more than sufficient to cover the bills. And as that was £20 less than they were previously paying, they naturally assumed that going forward they'd be likely to make a saving. But that illusion was quickly shattered when, some seven months later, they received a most unwelcome letter in the post. It wasn't until after Christmas that we actually got a letter telling us about our oh, £1,000 worth of debt. I just thought there must be a mix-up from the previous tenant and maybe a debt had been left from the person before. No such luck. It soon transpired that the £1,000 debt was theirs and was down to what they say their energy provider described on the phone as a ridiculously high level of electric use. We was really baffled by it, we didn't know how that could be possible. So excuse me, can you tell me how much you paid for your electric? When she said to me, 16 pounds a day, a day, I just... I couldn't believe it, just couldn't believe it. And then we visited another neighbour, she had a bill for seven thousand pounds. Red proud, Red proud. It seemed the needy system must be the explanation, but she couldn't understand why, even when it was apparently on full pelt, it wasn't keeping her warm. The whole situation was just spiralling out of control. There's been times where I've sat in cold baths. A few have ripped them all out and replaced them. We were yes. there when that happened on one estate in one court. Please tell me while I and back that. in 2015, we met the residents on this estate in Salford, Greater Manchester. How much were you putting in the meter? I don't know how many times. Between five and ten pounds. Why didn't anyone tell me? A week. Yeah. How much are you putting in now? About five to fifty a week. A week. Yeah. It's told us that's an inefficient way to use the needy system, which relies on being permanently on to get the best and most cost-effective results. That would work. But if the explanation to this really is yeah. that not everyone is using it correctly, no, it does rather beg the question of why someone, somewhere along the line, isn't doing more to ensure that these systems are installed and operating correctly. Oh, it's me. 
Because we've now heard of an awful lot of people who've struggled with these heating systems. Tell me. And they're usually the people who can least afford to pay any unexpected costs. Oh, Lisa and Caitlin, they're still struggling to pay off well over a thousand pounds of debt. Since we've lived it, it's given us nothing but worry about money and nothing <coughs> else now, or because of the new system. It's took over. They've used, yeah, they've used that life. same shot about three times. Well, Nibi has told us that its exhaust air heat pumps work brilliantly in providing affordable heating and hot water when the property is sized and sold and operated. Provided that's the case, the company says they are an energy efficient, environmentally friendly and effective heating and ventilation solution in around 20,000 properties in the UK and over a million homes in Europe. Went on to reiterate that where issues occur, it's almost always due to poor specification, installation, or using the wrong settings and no, not the systems themselves. The company says it's concerned to hear about individual cases where consumers are unhappy, but it's always ready to offer guidance on how to use the system effectively and efficiently. Effectively now, that's a very interesting point because the Second Housing Association mentioned there, Pendleton together, told us that it's made 31 individual visits to resolve issues this year alone and can also supply this. residents with a series of videos on how to work the system, which is all well and good, but if it really is so complicated for some people to operate, no wonder they're ending up with sky-high bills and you have to feel sorry for them.